everyone, this is Chris Burns from Android Community. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Nexus 5 once again. Uh, inside Photos, when you first open it up, it does uh, give you a little notification about how you're going to want to, yes or no, uh, add uh, GPS locations on that. We're going to go ahead and go no thanks for right now. If I tap into here, you can see everything is pretty much standard, how it was before uh, Android 4.4. If you were talking about uh, 3.0. Uh, uh, 4.3 that is. Uh, you've got the regular scenes here. You have night, action, none, party, and sunset. Down here you have white balance which is the same. Picture size, location, and countdown timer. The picture size will go up here to just to show you that we are working with 8 megapixels. We'll switch that back here. Uh, we're switching to 8 megapixels here on the back facing camera. This next is 5. And everything is pretty standard from there in. Now since I have no photos, I can't switch back to the photos that I had here. If I pull down from the top, you can see there's my menu. Otherwise, it's a full screen interface. If I turn to the side, same thing sort of happens. Pull down, you can see it like that. Otherwise, it stays uh, gone. We'll turn flash off here. And we'll go ahead and take a picture of this box just to put in the review so you can take a look at it. Zoom in right there. Take a photo. Looks nice. Uh, another thing we'll take pictures of uh, up here is a painting I got up there, or rather a my art piece. Take a picture of that as well. And we'll save those in the review so you can take a look at them a little bit later. Now, right up close we can see that these photos are really quite nice. They're, at first glance, they're looking extremely, uh, you know, well created here. And uh, this device looks like something definitely we're going to be looking to connect to uh, compared to the HTC One and uh, Galaxy S4, etc. like that. Take a look. 